Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Last time you're gonna see our smiling faces here in Switzerland. Today is our last day. This is mine. You had yours. This is mine. We're just sharing. Today is our last day here in Switzerland. It's a beautiful sunny Sunday. We're still in Luzern, really nice area. And we have some exciting news to share with you today. We made our plan for something that we're really, really excited about, our travels for the next weeks, and I think you will like it as well. We're Naik and Kim, a Belgian couple who spent a year and a half traveling the world before moving into this self-converted Ford Transit van that we are now driving across Europe. After the last few months of van life in Switzerland and Sweden, we are gearing up for our next big adventure. As you guys know, we've been in Switzerland for quite a long time now yeah, already. Almost six, seven weeks now already? Seven weeks, which is actually much longer than we intended to stay here in the first place. Yeah. But we sort of struggled to come up with a plan for what to do next, what to do once we leave Switzerland. Yeah, we were kind of waiting for countries to start opening up again, but it's not really happening. Au contraire and more frère, they're closing down mostly. Yeah. We thought about going to Spain or Italy to the south really warm weather there it's 25 degrees there but unfortunately over easter they're going into lockdown so we've been struggling a bit with finding good places to go where we can still travel around a bit and still do our thing um, and also having a bit of a goal that we don't need to like do this exercise every time over and over again what country are we going next to what country we're going next to it just seems like lately we've been wandering around a little bit aimlessly we had a lot of fun exploring both in Switzerland and in Sweden. Um, but like Nike said, at the end of staying in each of those countries, it felt like we sort of had to do this big thinking exercise. We were like, okay, yeah. what are we gonna do? Where can we go? And at some point, it started to turn more into how can we keep outrunning lockdowns than what would be a nice goal and something super yeah. exciting that we can really like get excited about, that we would love to do even if there was no COVID. And in the last video, we asked you guys what you thought, where should we go? We were actually quite surprised by the answers that we got. We're expecting more say, classical countries like Italy and Spain. But actually, most of you took us in a different direction. So if it wasn't for that little poll that we did, we probably would have ended up going to Spain just yeah. because we didn't really have a better idea. Yeah. But then so many people suggested Slovenia, Croatia Asia and other Balkan countries. When we bought the van, we had this idea that it would be so cool to do this big overland trip into Asia and we would love to go to Turkey. We've been wanting to visit Turkey for a while now. So then we started thinking maybe it's something that we can do even with everything that's going on. Maybe we can find a way to do that and that would be really awesome. The idea was actually that we wouldn't leave the EU because, I mean, at least we have some kind of protection here because the EU guarantees free movement of people. Of course, with COVID, there are still some restrictions. But, I mean, the chances of us not being able to go someplace else or to go back home, if worst comes to worst, are practically zero. But, I mean, in the end, Switzerland is also not part of the EU. And I think going to Turkey or to that in that direction, going east towards Asia, would be really really cool and now that vaccinations are ramping up i think we can risk it for the biscuit so we've just decided that it's something that we really really want to do we really want to take the van all the way to turkey over the course of a couple of weeks let's say and then travel it through turkey and explore it there we're of course not 100 percent sure that that's actually gonna work it'll depend on covid obviously but we're really excited about having this big goal the next country we're gonna go to if all goes well in the next video is we start our journey to turkey in slovenia and then we go to Croatia, a few countries in the Balkan. Probably Serbia, maybe Montenegro. Albania, we'll Bulgaria. see. Bulgaria, those, those are super exotic for us as well, because yeah. we've never been, and we're not really sure what to expect, but no. it's gonna be such a great adventure. We're just really looking forward to it. And based on the research that I've done, and this is an important one, spent hours researching it, it also seems that after we leave Europe, we should be able to come back with the van. That's that was a that's our biggest concern actually for leaving Europe, leaving the EU, is that we would get stuck or that we would get stuck and not be able to drive the van back and thus having to leave the van behind, which would 
yeah, be a really big problem because there's a bunch of YouTubers who have yeah, lost their van in that way that's parked up somewhere already yeah, when the for, pandemic started. for a year and they still haven't been able to get it. So that that is our biggest worry and concern. But we think we should be able to do it. So since so many of you guys have recommended we visit those countries, we'd yep. love to hear all the tips and recommendations that you have. Or the places you would like to see, or if you have some really good insider tips in Slovenia, Croatia, I don't know. Turkey. Maldives, Turkey or Serbia or whatever country you'd like to see us go. Albania is also something we're going probably. And even if you haven't been there, if there's some stuff you'd prefer to see more of, yep. I just bit my tongue. Oh, that hurts. Oh my god. Oh yeah, she won't talk for the rest of the day. If there's some stuff that you would prefer... Win, win, win. If there is some stuff that you would oh. prefer to see more of in those videos... Or some good food tips also. We love to eat. Just let us know what you think. It gives us some ideas to think about. Anything you think yeah. of, please do let us know. We'd love to know. Share it in the comments um, in the video. Yeah. And smash the subscribe button if you want to be there for all those videos and for the adventure of traveling to Turkey. See you in the next one. Bye! Bye.